Hi guys, I'm Roxanne. Hi, this is Mathieu. And we are from winery.ph. And today we are very excited to tell you about uh, this range of wine. Uh, they are from uh, Bordeaux. Where is Bordeaux, Roxanne? So guys, Bordeaux is actually from the southwest of France and it's naturally segmented by an estuary. It's actually divided into two, the left bank and right bank. So we have the left bank, wherein most of the blends are predominantly made with Cabernet Sauvignon. And then for the right bank, most of the blends are made with Merlot. One of the famous brands is Mouton Cadet. Yes, Mouton Cadet. So Mouton Cadet is making a comeback in the Philippines after maybe one year, one and a half years of absence. Very, very exciting to have the wine back. They are very popular. It's Bordeaux made affordable, made accessible for every budget. So we got four wines, one white, one rosé, and two reds. What can you tell us a bit about Mouton Cadet? So Mouton Cadet, it's actually made as uh, my you mentioned it's actually made to make Bordeaux wines affordable to everyone. And so what they do is the, they buy grapes from over 250 different wine growers and they blend it together in their facility. It's a it's quite a big operation, 12 million bottles a year, so it's quite, quite a huge a number. Lot. And like you mentioned earlier, it's Merlot based for the rosé and the reds. They want to achieve a style that's easy to enjoy while, while young, very approachable, very ripe. We'll pour it for you. So this is the Mouton Cadet uh, Blanc. Okay, so with the Mouton Cadet Blanc, uh, the assemblage for this wine is actually predominantly made with Sauvignon Blanc, Semillon, and mm -hmm. there's also Muscadel. Yeah, so it's 2022, it's very, uh, very fresh. So usually the, it's a classic uh, Bordeaux blend for white. Citrus. Yeah, yeah. freshness. Fresh. Pale gold. Pale gold, yeah, the green tea, yeah. It, that, it doesn't look like it has been aged in, in any wood no, whatsoever. No yeah. On the get-go, I'm getting the citrusness. So what the kind citrusy. Of citrus, uh, I'm getting grapefruit. Grapefruit, uh, yeah. Maybe a bit of uh, orange or mandarin, even. That's probably from the Semillon. There's also 1% Muscadel. Muscadel, yes. Uh, Muscadel brings <laughs> aromatic, floral, very pretty, elegant grape variety. Yeah. So the wine is dry, it's light body. It's not too light either. There's a, there's a bit of a texture. Acidity is there to keep the wine really uh, vibrant. Very crisp, that's it. Very crisp, crisp, yeah, yeah. The grapefruits, the mandarins, I'm getting it. Yeah. On the palette, yeah, yeah, it's a little bit uh, ripe. I think that's really the Semillon is shining mm -hmm. there already with the stone fruit and really adding something very nice. What about food pairing? I think shellfish, uh, this one for me, like scallops. Scallops, uh, oysters. Oysters, yeah. Seafood yeah. pasta, probably. Even baked oysters. Big oysters. Oh, yeah. oysters. Yep. Okay. On to the next on one. On to the next one, yeah. The rosé, uh, what's the blend on this one? So the blend for this one is mostly Merlot, as uh, Matthew mentioned a while ago, and Cabernet Sauvignon and a bit of Cabernet Franc. Matthew mentioned that Cabernet Franc brings a bit of floral notes. Yeah, yeah but this one is uh, it's also, again, it's the classic blend for, classic. for red or rosé. classic Bordeaux blend. Yeah. It's fresh, there's fresh. No, no oak barrel whatsoever. Very pink light pearl pink. in color, I mean, pink salmon. Salmon. Yeah. Red fruit, definitely, mm -hmm. you know, there's, uh, there's, some, there's some strawberry, some... I'm getting a bit of pear. Yeah. Very enjoyable, very easy drinking. Great for afternoons. So yeah, easy drinking for the titas out there. It doesn't feel very, uh, very alcoholic, very so, yeah, for the titas. It has a good length. And the acidity is not very straightforward. No. Yeah. How would you enjoy oh. this one? I think I'll be, again, an aperitif. I think I can pair this with a ham tostada. Yeah, something yeah. a bit more fatty, yeah, yeah. Sushi, maybe? Yeah, uh, sushi and maki. Maki, yeah, uh, prawn temperas. On to the next one. The next one is the Mouton Cadet. Uh, Cuvée Héritage, uh, yeah. Another Bordeaux blend. I'm assuming this one is also predominantly Merlot, Merlot blend. What are we expecting from this one? Let's smell. Okay. <laughs> it's ripe, it smells ripe. like a classic Bordeaux. Red fruits. Maybe even some plums or blueberries. Yeah. Yeah. Dark cherry, black cherry. It smells like wood, it smells more, it smells more woody, maybe cedar wood. Would you know if this one's oak? There's no indication, but uh, I trust my nose. And uh, <laughs> this one is telling me, yeah. This one is telling me there's a bit of wood there yeah, with aging. Yeah, there's, there's some sort of like uh, leather, tobacco and cedar, cedar. So there's, wood al there's already a bit of aging. Yeah, 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 yeah. Almost a bit of vanilla. I'm getting some spice notes too. Yeah, pepper, yeah, I'm getting the leather, the tobacco, the vanilla. Silky tannin, it's not, it's not rough. It's grippy, but silky, it's well integrated. Uh, pretty good as well. I'm still taking still, it. Still in the palate, yeah. Deserve some healthy food, a bit richer food. Prime ribs, this yeah. would go 
well with that in a duck breast, I think, with a hearty sauce. Yeah, yeah. lamb and Bordeaux, it tends to be a classic, uh, classic combo, like lamb chop. If it's good now, yeah, drink it now. <laughs> Last one, already see by the bottle. The bottle is more, it's heavier, slightly different shape, often indicates that the wine is a bit more premium. Say eight, nine, ten out of ten to market it a little bit more premium by giving it a, a bigger, a bigger bottle size, a heavier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure this would be the case with this one because it's from the Saint Emilion appellation. Where is Saint Emilion? What's so, Saint Emilion? Saint Emilion is actually it's still inside Bordeaux, correct? Yeah, yeah. And it's a sub-region in Bordeaux. And um, this one is a, an appellation that's more premium, I would say. The color uh, is also a little bit different. Deep ruby. Yeah, it's ruby. Uh, Deep, yeah, but there's almost like a, a garnet on the, on the rim. It's not as fruit forward, there's more complexity. I'd say for me, the, this one is a little bit more inviting. I'm getting dried fruits already. Yeah. It's, not, it's not as ripe as the first uh, red. Correct, yeah, yeah, dried fruit, dried like uh, dry figs or yes. sultanas or things like that. So it's bigger wine, it's more tannic. My, my palate, Brianna, is very, very dry, mm -hmm. so more volume, it's just bigger. I'm getting smooth, smooth tannin. If this one's silky, this one is more silky, I think. It's, it's balanced. It's very balanced. Uh, this one is very balanced and there's a lot going on. And I would actually pair this, pair this with a cheese burger. Probably. The one that's flame grilled, the thick, juicy burgers. That one. Mm -hmm. Something fancy, maybe like uh, Kobe beef or oh, like, you know, something. Wagyu. Uh, Wagyu beef, yeah, yeah, something like. These wines are actually more than a thousand at, at SRP, but watch out for the featured collection because these will be discounted at 10% off. That is all for our Mouton Cadet lineup. Till the next one, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please don't forget to click subscribe and leave a comment below. And be sure to hit the notification bell so that you never miss another video. Again, this is Chi. And I'm Miggy. Till the next drink. Cheers! Cheers.